Pam. Hey. Where are we, Pam? We're at St. Peter's Cathedral. Where? In the Vatican City. In Rome. In Rome. No, it's the Vatican City. It's Rome. That's right. It's its own country. Yeah. I had to get Pam out of bed. I had to go wake her up. There's our tour group right there. <laughs> yeah. As if. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, it's like covered, you know, the re Oh, the, the restoring the yeah. Sistine Chapel. That must be the Sistine Chapel right there. I don't think you can capture no. the video, the, the immense nature of this church. How great it is. It's just incredible. Just the detail and... What's that? Did you get behind the altar here? Yeah, I did. Sure did. Sure did. This is so incredible.
Mary holding the uh, body of the dead Christ, just yet on the to the top of St. Peter's Basilica. Notice that Pam is on the inside of the stairs. It is circular. Therefore, she is walking a lot less than I am. I just want to document this. But how many steps are there, Frank? There's 500 steps. Top of the stairs. Or... Great view of Rome. Okay, these are more stairs. Careful. We're going up to the dome where Michelangelo did his last work. Oh, this is the dome. We're at the top of the dome. And this is Michelangelo's last work. Just incredible. These are all mosaics here on the wall. Made, looks like they're made out of little stones as opposed to the tile mosaics that we've seen. Yeah. I, uh, from here you can see Dante's dove, Dante, or Bernini's dove. So big. I'm totally zoomed in. Here we see we see Bernini's bronze canopy. <coughs> he sculpted it out of bronze.
stairs are not over. There's more. I'm upright and the walls are leaning inward because we're at getting to the very, very top of the dome. Really see the the walls leaning. Nice view of Rome. Definitely not for the claustrophobic. More stairs. Very tiny, big rope to help you come up. Oh, we're at the top. Oh. Woo. How do you feel, Pam? Oh, great. Wonderful. Most I've done before. Nine o'clock in the morning. Wow. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> From behind. Probably more stairs, but we ain't gonna use them. Mummy dates back to 1000 BC, and these jars are used to house the, uh, the mummy's organs. They're taken out, extracted, and housed separately. Yeah, that's just the uh, St. Peter's Cathedral in the background. Okay, we're still at the Vatican Museum. thousand statues in here. This quarter was constructed to connect the Pope's summer home to uh, the Sistine Chapel, which is the Pope's personal chapel.
Versace Novo. That's what this is called. Ancient mosaics, mosaics dating back a couple thousand years. This Roman statue depicts the, the god of medicine. You can see the staff with the snake. And it's a Roman copy of a Greek original. It's a bronze bed mm -hmm. for a like a like a, a funeral. Is that mm -hmm. what? It's found in this person's tomb. We're now going to the Sistine Chapel.
by Raphael. Lorena Bobbitt or Jay Simpson? Yes. Give me 
Romeo, the best in Cinturia del Colosseo. This is for you. <laughs> That's why they're saving some of that. Right. And then notice around the top, the wooden pillars, the wooden posts, the, imagine those as the masts of sailing ships, and then those, they would extend.
him from behind, he kind of looks like your dad. Now, I'm not okay. saying the guy over there uh, giving the speech. No. Kind of looks like your dad. And you notice how, like, your dad was talking about how he likes to come to Rome a lot and all that stuff. No, I think it's more your dad. So this guy's like rattling off in Italian. Yeah, well, we can't hear what he's saying from up here. <laughs> wow. It's pretty cool.
Pam, where are we at right now? Which arch? Sure, sure. Okay, then that one over there is the Arch of Septimus, Sep Septimus Serbia. It is about AD 200. It celebrates the Emperor's military victories. And where oh, were we? Oh, it covered it's, it's, um, the tomb of Romulus. Oh, okay. Which was supposed to be a mythical. One of the twins. Sure. Remus and Romulus, who supposedly founded Rome and was somewhat mythological, but they, they found evidence that there may have actually been the Remus and Romulus. Senate right there, the Roman Senate, this building right there. And then what's the building here with the columns? So it would be the one right next to it. It is number one. It would be the Basilica Amelia, mm. second okay. century BC. It is the floor plan of the East. It's a pre Christian basilica design and is later adapted by medieval churches. Okay. Like flies. The Church of Santa Maria della Concezione, better known as Cappuccini Friars Church, goes over the paintings on, of Reni and Dominichino, on your right is now, over the painting of Reni and Dominichino. So, Margherita. And now we are entering Via Veneto, that you certainly know for the famous movie by the director Fellini, The Sweet Life. Via Veneto was a meeting point for artists. <laughs> On the Aurelian Wall, built by the same Emperor Aurelian in the 3rd century AD, between 270 and 275, in order to better defend Rome by the enemy attacks. Park in Rome. Villa Borghese, created by Cardinale Scipione Borghese, Cardinal Scipione Borghese, in 17th century, has a perimeter of 6 kilometers. And you can also discover on the right side of this public park the National Modern Heart, the Gallery of National Modern Heart. 20 kilometers about. It's called the Muro Torto, Murus Ruptus, on your left, the Aurelian Walls. Now we are in Piazzale Flaminio, Flaminio Square, and this big gate is the Porta del Popolo, that we can see better later. Mm. 
Now we are entering modern monument, now in front of you. Giacomo Matteotti was a political man killed in 1924 by the fascist regime. So, this monument is dedicated to the old freedom. And on your right, as I told before, Porta del Popolo, decorated by Bernini in 1655 in order to commemorate the entrance in Rome of the Queen of Sweden, Maria Cristina. So, the first thing you can see on your left after passing through Porta del Popolo is the Church of Santa Maria del Popolo, Church of St. Mary of the People. So, that contain important masterpiece by Bernini in the Cappella Chigi, in the Chigi Chapel, and the famous paintings by Caravaggio in the Cerasi Chapel. There is a nice legend about this church. So, in this area, it seems that in the ancient time, was covered by trees. And in this area, was the tomb of the Emperor Nero. So, in 1099, Pope Pasquale II, after a vision, wants to cut all the trees for him infested by the demons of Nero. After, raised a chapel, and so began the Church of Santa Maria del Popolo. And, in front of us, Piazza del Popolo, Popolo Square. And this important obelisk is the obelisk from the 13th century before Christ. This obelisk is really tall, 24 meters plus the 12 of base. The square, Popolo Square, was projected and related by the architect Valadier in 1816. In the little right is the Church of Santa Maria dei Miracoli. The second one on the left is Santa Maria in Monte Santo. Is Via del Corso and the right, the right one is Via di Ripetta, this street. As I, told, as I told you before, the twin churches on your left. So, now we are in Via di Ripetta, taking its name from the Ripetta Arbor, a river harbor of the 14th century. you can find in Via di Ripetta the Palace of the Art Academy. So, after this building, on the right side, you can find the Ara Pacis Auguste, the altar of peace of the Emperor Augustus, built by the same emperor in 9 before Christ, to commemorate, finally, the peace in all the Roman Empire. Center of, of this. And in the center of this monument, at the top of it, there was a statue of the same emperor. Nowadays, the monument name was Octavian, and in 27 before Christ, became the first emperor of Rome with the name of Augustus. Auguste, now on your right. We are going to cross the river Tiber business and transport. Rome rise in this area, Rome was founded in this area for two reasons. The first, the river Tiber, and the second, because it was an early in a particular way to the unification of Italy in 1861. Italy annexed Rome and made Rome capital in 1871, but Cavour was died in this 1871. But you can find uh, a statues of Camillo Benso Conte di Cavour, the real name, in the center of this important square. And now, on your left, you can see the low courts of Rome. For the Romans, it's an ugly palace. Yes, an ugly palace. And so we call it Palazzaccio, instead of that Palazzo. So, the Palazzaccio, inside the Palazzaccio, it seems that the archit has been to kill himself after discovering some important <laughs> and now 
on your left, Sant'Angelo Castle, built in this time by Adrian, the Emperor Adrian, in 135 as the Adrian's Mausoleum. As I told before, a mausoleum was a family tomb, a sort of family tomb. So, in all during the year and the century, this important event. Nowadays, Sant'Angelo Castle hosts an important military museum, and I said, opened in 1950s after the demolition of an ancient quarter, the quarter of Borgo Vecchio. But, overall, in front of you, the most important church of the Christian community, of the Christian community <laughs> all over the world, the Basilica of St. Peter in the Vatican, built in the first time by the Emperor Constantine in the 4th century, but destroyed, rebuilt, renovated and enlarged all, all over the time. The facade, now in restoration, is by Bramante, 1506, and the dome, the tallest in Europe, 132 meters, is a masterpiece by Michelangelo. So, inside the church you can find a lot of, a lot of interesting works, like the knee. In 1676, it's a big colonnade and that's a message to embrace all the Christian community all over the world. Benini built this colonnade with 284 columns and 88 pilasters. It's really huge. I suggest you go to visit the Basilica of St. Peter in the Vatican. And I remember you that there, w there were, uh, there are, excuse me, five doors, five entrance doors. The first one, the central one, is by Filarete. And the last one on the right is the only door that the Pope in the Christmas was called Passetto. Or what is it, Romulus and Remus? See it on the wall thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. And now, on your right, a fantastic view of the Basilica of St. Peter in the Vatican. On your right, now. Sant'Angelo Castle and the bridge, the Ponte Elio, the bridge Elio, who joins the Sant'Angelo Castle to the other side of Rome. You have to know that all the statues in the Ponte Elio, the bridge, was realized and projected by the Bernini's school. The Oratorio dei Filippini, on your left now, by Borromini. This white facade, now on your left, is the church of Santa Maria in Vallicella, Santa Maria in Vallicella, also called the New Church, that contains in the first act of Tosca, the Tosca by Puccini, the, fa the famous Italian artist. So, this dome, the dome of Santa della Valle, is the second biggest in Rome, after, obviously, the, the one of St. Peter in the Vatican. We can see the Teatro Argentina, the Argentina Theater, one of the most important theater in Rome. In the center of the square, as you can see, just a few meters after, rise a big equestrian statue, the statue of, of Marco Aurelio. Three palaces are in this square. The central one is Palazzo Senatorio, nowadays the city hall of Rome. The right one is Palazzo dei Conservatori and the left one is Palazzo Nuovo. These two last palaces form the Conservatory Museum that I suggest you going to visit because contain important sculptures by the Roman time. So now in front of you Cavita Square and the Palazzo Senatorio this upstairs by Michelangelo is the Cordonata that you can reach from Piazza Venezia to the Capitol Square. 
inside this white and big, really, really big monument is the Vittoriano. Now on your right, the monument dedicated to Vittorio Emanuele II. The insula was for common people, the domus for the rich people. So, another time, the capital square. In front of you, the coordonata, the upstairs, can you join, can you reach the capital square? built in 41 and then by Emperor Augustus in 11 before Christ is dedicated to Marcellus, one of the Augustan family. The Theatrus Marcello, the Marcellus Theatre, could contain 10,000 people. Now, on your right, you can see three white columns forming one time the temple of Apollo Sociano in prison, built on the remains of three temples dating from the Republican period and after began a prison. The two columns in the facade are the original one. Dedicated to a river goddess. Now on your right, temple of Fortuna Virile. <coughs> Of Gianno Quadrifonte, meeting point for relax and conversation. The belfry behind the arch is the Church of San Giorgio al Velabro. On your right now, the circular temple is the Temple of Vesta, dedicated to the goddess Vesta. On your right, the Temple of Vesta. So, on your left, this church is the Church of Santa Maria in Cosmedin, an important and famous church. Of course, you can reach, you can find inside, in the left, the, on the left side, you can find the Mouth of Truth, the famous Mouth of Truth. There is a nice legend about it in the left side inside the church. The left, the Mouth of Truth is a big human face built by uh, white marble of the Circus Maximus. The one we saw, one we saw in Piazza del Popolo, Popolo Square, and the other is in Piazza San Giovanni Laterano. The Circus Maximus was built in the Tarquinis era, for the Tarquinis kings, 6th century before Christ. There is a horse race. Incredible, the first time it's a biga. Okay, in this way, it's incredible, I think. In this way, in the Circus Maximus, 2000 years ago, were the horse races. I'm really happy there was in this moment. You can understand better. Wow. It's the first time that, that I see it. I'm going to visit the Palatino Hill. It's really, it's really wonderful. And you have to know that Rome was born there 2,751 years ago. So, in front of us, 
the Arch of Constantine, built by the Emperor Constantine in 315 AD, in order to commemorate his victory against Maxentius. Now we are stopping here for 10 minutes, but before I want to tell you something about the Colosseum, the most important and famous monuments of Rome, the real symbol of Rome, built by Vespasian in 72 AD and then by Titus, his son, in 80 AD. You have to know that the Colosseum could contain... You can see by the, some hole, hole in, uh, in the marble of the Colosseum. As I told before, for the Basilica of San Marco, many, many square, many, many monuments, many palaces are, com was built, were built by different architectonical orders. In the first, in the first floor, you can see the capital Doric, the second Ionic, and the third Corinthian, in the fourth Corinthian pilaster. of Castor and Polluce, Castor and Pollux, sons of Zeus and Leda. Complete. Century. In the center of the square of four. So, in the center of the square, this big column. The facade is really important. In the second floor, the loggia, you can find the loggia, is by the architect Fuga. Instead, I remember you that the belfry is the tallest in Rome.